I must start with saying that vaccines are effective for protecting people from this, in particular, the COVID vaccine from severe disease, hospitalization, and death from the COVID-19 vaccine. Well, and while African governments have an obligation to protect their people from these serious public health threats, WHO does prefer that the vaccine uptake is achieved without the use of mandates. And mandatory COVID vaccination should be an absolute last resort and only applicable when all other feasible options to improve the vaccine uptake have been exhausted, especially community engagement to espouse the benefits of the vaccine and to address any hesitancy as a result of misinformation. That being said, uh, are vaccines being forced on people? Because when it comes to a pandemic or an epidemic or what we normally call like an outbreak, this is a public health threat. This is something that is not individualized. It is different for one person deciding not to go for antenatal care, for example, a pregnant mother, and having issues with her delivery. But this is different from someone refusing to cut the bushes around their house and mosquitoes and, and draining the water, and then mosquitoes are all over the place, and the whole community starts getting uh, an outbreak of malaria. So when it comes to public health, much as the vaccine should not be forced on anybody, it is not just individual protection. The protection of the individual is protecting the whole community and the whole population. So the mandate and the responsibility lies with the public health department or the Ministry of Health or the government to protect its citizens. So much as we do urge uh, governments to take into consideration that many reasons are that their citizens may not receive the vaccine, uh, for example, the lack of access and misinformation, uh, before to consider those and address those before invoking any mandates.